and that's that looks about right to me. And I don't really have to thin this out because these parts of the insect are um, pretty opaque anyway. And there are some fairly long spines here on the legs, and I'm going to leave the spines unpainted just to provide a little bit more contrast. And make it look a little more natural. And the tarsi little feet. Yeah. Now, this inside part of the femur is a little bit light. I want to make that a little bit darker. So I'm going to use some of this darker paint again and uh, bring those tones down just a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to give it a a wash, um, a water wash, too, on those legs just to soften it up a little bit, let it dry a little bit more, and then do that. I'll give it a little bit more of a natural look. And I'm going to take some of this darker green and put a little dot on the eye. Yeah. Okay, put some wash on the leg.
sort of allows some of the ridges underneath to show through. It looks a lot more natural. And then uh, a little bit of lighter green at the top of the leg. Tibia. Boy, that looks pretty good. I might go over the body just a little bit more back here. Oh, I forgot to do the tail end. There's a little ovipositor back here. Yeah. <clears throat> now there's just the wings left. And uh, the wings on the living ones are slightly lighter green. And I got a pretty decent result by mixing in some of this off-white with the green. Uh, and the wings have a lot of little veins and structures, so I really don't want the paint thick on there. I want it just to, to stain it. So I'll uh, mix up some of what I think will work for that. All right, I think I've got the color I'm looking for, and I've thinned it out quite a bit, too. Um, I'll see how it looks when it goes on, and if I have to modify it a little bit, I can do that. Okay. might be a little bit light. It'll be a good base coat, if nothing else. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit light. I'm going to um, get some water and kind of go over it, give it a bit of a wash. Yeah, I think I'm going to want it a little darker green. Yeah. Oh, that looks better. Dab the 
this off again. I'm going to let that dry and then uh, come back with a second coat and see what I think of it. But that's close to what I'm looking for. Going over the uh, the body with a little bit more green. But it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking it. Alright, we'll see how it looks when it dries. Now this paint's had a chance to dry overnight, and I think it looks pretty good. The um, lower part of the femurs should be a little bit darker. So I'm going to try and use uh, a little bit of the darker paint and see if I can just stain that a little bit darker and then we'll do the bottom I'm just putting a slight wash of this darker paint across the bottom half of the femurs Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now, um, this specimen's made to be viewed from the top, and it looks really quite good. But look at the bottom, look how the contrast is. It really looks dead and dried out. And we're unlikely to see the bottom because who's going to flip it over, but still, I don't know, I think I should do the bottom too. I can use this on the legs. I mean, it might as well. The specimen will last a long time, presumably, and someone in the future might flip it over and On the living specimens, they are dark colored like this below. So, uh, this is actually pretty accurate 
color for the bottom. Yeah, and then I'll get a wider brush and um, just put a wash of this darker green over the bottom. Uh, like I say, this specimen's going to be a display specimen for Portland Insectarium, and, and actually chances are pretty good at some point someone will take it out and look at it, and um, it'd be nice if they could have some idea of what the bottom is supposed to look like in general. See this little white line right there? That little white line is on the living specimen, so I'm going to be careful not to paint over that. on the head. And then this back part is dark brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to call that done. Quite an improvement.